Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about a brand new feature that was just added into the Sofa Central Partner Dashboard. This is going to be group policies for the XG firewall. These are going to be controlled at the Sofa Central Partner Dashboard. They're then going to be populated down into the Sofa Central Admin Dashboard where we can then add XG firewalls to those groups. So let's go ahead and jump right into the Sofo Central Partner Dashboard. From the Sofo Central Partner Dashboard, what you're gonna do is come down to Manage Firewalls. Manage Firewalls is now going to contain the firewall templates and group policies for the XG firewall. These policies, again, get applied to customers as we can see here. When we create a brand new template, you'll provide it a template name as well as a description. You can have as many template names as you want. However, a customer can only be applied to a single firewall template. The way that that's going to work is if we come over here to the three little dots over to the right hand side, you're gonna see you'll have an option to edit customers. From here, you'll be able to add in any additional customer that has not already been added to a firewall template or policy. Once you've added that customer, select save, it'll now be pushed out to that particular customer's central admin account, which we will look here at here shortly. From this dashboard here, we can also go in and take action directly on these policies and templates. Again, hitting the three little dots over to the right-hand side, you'll select Manage Policy. Once into the policy management, you'll see that this looks just like an XG firewall, most of the sections in the XG firewall, except at the top, it's going to say Sofa Central Partner. From here, you can set up any rules and policies, firewall rules, NAT rules. Now, this is Good to note that this is for 18 and above. Version 17.5 firewalls will not be able to utilize this feature. So this is going to be for version 18 and above. From here, we can add in policies. If I wanted to have all of my Sofa Central addresses, fully qualified domain names at the top of the list so that no matter what with synchronized security, I can always have those endpoints get out to Sofa Central. I can add that in here. As a partner, if I want to create a block list, I have IP addresses that I know and that I found that I want to block. I can go ahead and add those in here as well as a block and have them added in at the bottom. Now today there is no rule pinning, so there is nothing that's going to keep this at the bottom if it is changed on the device itself. You can also come into intrusion prevention, web and application and create any of those rules and policies at a top level. Now, certain sections are going to be quite limited. If we come into networking, for instance, the only options you're gonna have in here are DNS. This is gonna be the ability to cross all of your firewalls to make sure that they are pointing to the exact same DNS service. Probably not something that you're gonna utilize across all of your firewalls. Again, the majority of what you're gonna do is mainly gonna be here under protect. Now, under hosts and services, this is where you can add in objects and service objects to the XG firewalls as well, making sure that if you have commonly used services, commonly used hosts on there, that those get distributed across all of your XG firewalls. Once this has been applied, once you have this template the way you want it, we're now gonna go back to the firewall templates. And from here, there's nothing else we need to do other than see that it is applied to a particular customer. Now, what we're going to have to do is launch into a Sofa Central admin account for a particular customer. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Manage Customer Usage. I'm going to find the account that I want to log into. And we're going to launch into the Sofa Central admin account. This is going to bring us into the Sofa Central admin account for this particular customer. Now from here, your firewalls already have to be managed under the Sofo Central Admin Firewall Management. This is set up via synchronized security or light touch deployment. If you do not know how to set those up, we have videos up under the XG for synchronized security. There's also the 
Sophos XG for MSPs, which is a really good video to teach you how to get XG firewalls into this dashboard. Once you have your XG firewalls into the dashboard, you're gonna click under firewalls. This will provide you a list of all of your firewalls for this particular customer. Again, this is for this particular customer only. As you can see with this customer, I have quite a few particular firewalls. You'll notice here that firewalls that are not been grouped will be added to this ungrouped section. You do have the option to group firewalls together. We can group them together from central admin. I can have a group here, this lab group, which is just part of the central admin, does not exist anywhere else. This is my main office and my branch office. And you can see here, I now have this partner managed group, which is my lab firewalls. That lab firewalls is what I created at the partner level and assigned to this particular customer. Now, firewalls do not automatically get added in to these groups, and there is no management at this point to add those firewalls into those groups from the partner level. We still need to, from here, click on the three little dots for this particular policy, and click on edit group. This will allow you to add any firewall that meets the criteria is version 18 and above into this policy group. Once you add a firewall into that group, it will apply the initial firewall template to that device. All of those settings and features that are being applied to the firewall can be seen and viewed here under task queue. You can see if you have any pending transactions, any that have failed, any that have been skipped and all your successful transactions in here as well. What you will see for that in this case here with that lab group is a device management template that is being applied to the firewall. Anytime a subsequent change is made after that, you'll notice that it's only gonna be a particular entity inside of the system and a sub entity that is getting applied to that particular device. Now back at our firewalls in our firewall groups, under our partner manage group, because we can't make any changes from here, if I needed to add some stuff that's specific to this particular customer here, but I wanna retain the partner level components as well, I can add in a subgroup from here. Hit the three little dots and you can add a subgroup. That is what you see here with the customer level. Let's say they had three or four firewalls and I want to run an individual web policy just for this group of firewalls. I can pull in all of these settings, all of the host service groups, firewall rules, web filtering rules from the top level, but I can then have a customer level on top of that as well. If you come in and manage from here, hit the three little dots, manage this policy, this will bring you in to here. This will let you know at the top that this is a subgroup of a partner group. You'll also be able to see that those other firewall rules added in from the partner level are seen here, but they are not able to be managed. Over here under the origin, you will see that this is coming from the lab firewalls. This allows you to know that this is coming from that Sofo Central partner dashboard, firewall group, and template. The same thing is true if we come down under web. You will be able to see all of the default policies under here, whether or not these exist at the customer level, as of this one here, this one exists in my customer level that was created, or if I have one, which is my test lab policy, that is coming from that partner level firewall template. Now I can make changes to this customer A. This is going to be that customer level policy, that, that subgroup policy. I can add in any additional settings that I want here, and these will apply just to this customer and just to those firewalls that are part of that customer group. So to recap, firewall templates and group policies are set up here at the Sofa Central Partner Dashboard. Create your, again, lab firewalls. We add it to a particular customer. We manage the settings from here for this particular policy. Then from the Sofa Central Admin Dashboard, the Customers Dashboard, you will add the firewall into the Partner Managed Group that is now available. If you need a subgroup inside of there, create that prior to. You will not be able to move a firewall from the root level into a sublevel. It will have to move out and then back into the customer level. So again, create that level. Think about where you're gonna be creating these firewalls and the levels you're needing prior to. 
add that firewall into the customer level, you now have full management from both the partner group level features as well as the subgroup features in each individual central admin account. Okay, that was just a quick overview of the partner level group policies and firewall templates, part of the new central management tools and features. This is available in every single partner's partner dashboard. Please take advantage of this. If you have any questions, please reach out to your local MSP team and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.